Hey everybody, today I have an unboxing of the Samsung 45mm f1.8 lens. This is a prime lens, um, this is the lens from Samsung's NX lineup for their cameras. Uh, my primary camera that I shoot with for photography is my NX300 mirrorless camera, which is the camera that I also use to shoot videos with on my YouTube channel. Um, that, that's why my uh, video quality may not be as good, and I apologize for that. I'm shooting with my iPhone 6 right now. Um, but I do need my camera to, you know, show you how the lens looks like on an actual, um, camera. So, this lens, um, retails for two, around $250. Um, I picked mine up from Amazon. Um, it was on sale, so I got around, uh, 230 with tax, and I paid for shipping as well. So, basically 200, uh, 250 bucks anyway. And I ordered this around... Uh, two days ago, so again, the two-day shipping was, you know, it was guaranteed. So, got here very fast. Now, let's open this up. Now, I'm definitely looking forward to the f1.8 aperture on this guy. Um, definitely will get you some good uh, shallow depth of field, and it will definitely help in some low-light situations. Now, it's very compact inside the box. It just came in the little compartment there. You do get a lens hood, which is actually sort of a screw-on method in instead of like a clicking method, like normal lenses, and I'll show you that in a sec. Now, looking at the 45mm lens, um, the build quality, it does look like metal, but in terms of how it feels, it feels like plastic, honestly. Yeah, I think it's plastic. I just sort of hit it against my teeth there just to uh, prove um, if it was plastic or metal or not. And opening this up, you see your glass right there, and the actual mount though is metal, which is good. You do get a small little lens cap here. You get your nice piece of glass right there. Now this is a 40, uh, I believe it says on the uh, lens hood right here. It is a 43 millimeter thread, so if you want to put a filter on here, uh, if you can manage to find one. You could slap that on there, I guess. Now, inside the box, you do get your manuals, which I guess it's warranty, user manual, if you want to look at that, and little pamphlets just going over um, more of Samsung's lenses in their lineup, which I'm not going to go over. You could just look, look up that on the website. Now, under the cardboard little tray, is a carrying pouch and that's it in the box. You get this little carrying pouch. It's sort of a leatherish uh, carrying pouch. I don't think it's real leather. I'm gonna do a little sniff test here. It smells like leather, um, but I don't think it's really real leather. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice, convenient, small little drawstring pouch if you wanna store your lens in here, which personally I'm not gonna use because I just use uh, my camera bag to store all my stuff in my camera gear or my camera backpack, I should say. Let's just put this off to the side. Now, looking at the lens, very small, very lightweight, uh, which is always good. Now, on my camera right now, I have the 18 to 55 millimeter uh, lens, which is actually the kit lens that came with the camera. And let's install this on. So, I want to be careful because I don't want to get dust in my camera. Let's take that out. Slap the 45 millimeter on. Screw this back on. All right. Now taking a look at the 45 millimeter lens, very compact as you can see, and holding the camera in hand feel with the NX300, very very lightweight. Now in terms of other Samsung cameras like the the new NX500 or the NX1000, 2000, or uh, 3300, I think um, I don't know the new uh, Samsung mirrorless cameras that came out or the NX1. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll still feel lightweight on those cameras. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you the lens hood. Simple as just screwing on a bottle cap. You just screw it on. Why isn't it working? Yep, screws on like that. Very secure. Um, unfortunately, with this screwing uh, method, it's not going it to be, um, be able to be put on backwards which is unfortunate but very nice lens 
Um, I just want to show you how it performs real quick, so let's put, I don't know, let's put this box in the background. Let's turn on the camera, and let's see how fast the autofocusing is. Seems to be pretty fast. Let's try to move it further, because this is a very, um, sort of zoomed in lens. Seems to be pretty fast. Let's zoom in at the door there. Zoom back in. Zoom in on the MacBook sitting in the corner. Yeah, it seems to be very fast. Pointing at my garage door, pointing it back there, pointing it at the front door, back at the MacBook. Yeah, very fast. Um, that's expected with a prime lens, uh, which is good. Now on the side here, you do get your eye function button, which if you don't know what that is, if you click it, why isn't it working? Let's switch to manual mode here. If you click that, it'll allow you to access your other menus such as shutter speed, ISO, and aperture very quickly, just by clicking a button on your lens, which is great. And you also get your autofocus and manual switch. So if you want to do manual focus, just toggle that on. And just turn it. And you get manual focus. And it's very, very smooth. Um, unfortunately, the actual ring, though, um, it does feel a bit plasticky. Um, but the actual um, smoothness to it when turning is actually pretty good. So overall, I think it's... A very nice prime lens for what 250 bucks very uh, good for your uh, money very good value slap that back on and I'm just gonna do a little quick size comparison I'm gonna lift my uh, iPhone here because I was actually leaning it against my lenses so right here I do have a 20 to 50 millimeter lens which is actually another kit lens um, I actually got two of these NX 300s um, my first one it actually something went wrong so I contacted Samsung, they said just send in the camera, um, not your, and they told me that I could keep my original lens right there, and the battery, and they sent over a replacement camera, so this came with it. But the, the 20 to 50 millimeter lens is honestly really, really cheap, probably the cheapest lens, it has a really plasticky mount, uh, autofocus on this is very loud and mechanical, so I don't really like it. So that's that, it's pretty much the similar size to the uh, 45 millimeter lens. The 45 millimeter lens is actually a little bit taller. Here I do have a telephoto, a large telephoto 50 to 200 OIS lens, which costs around the same price as the uh, 45 millimeter. I think this one's a bit like, uh, I think it was $50 more. And looking at it this way, you can see, of course, the 45 millimeter is probably half the size of this. So yeah, that's that. This is the 45mm f1.8 NX lens for the Samsung NX system. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please check out my channel. If you have any questions, um, please put them down in the comments below. And also, if you want to see some photo samples in the future, I do post some photos on my Instagram. So if you want to follow my Instagram, it's at, J, uh, at Joseph Choi Photography. I'll put the link down below. Also, I'll put my Twitter link down below, so if you want to follow me there, I'll put it down below. And if you want to follow me, I'll greatly appreciate it. So definitely leave a like, and thanks for watching.